Welcome back, guys, and today we are going to be taking a look at a game that either you have never heard of, or you forgot about, or you miss dearly and wish that there would be basically a modern version of the same game. Either way, this is Fuel. Now, Fuel was a game back on the Xbox 360 generation that really sort of encapsulated the entire idea of what a open-world off-road game meant at the time. And I genuinely believe that if we hadn't had this game, we wouldn't have even half of the off-road games that we have today. And I really do think that this game was very underappreciated in its day because the map is massive. It takes, I believe, multiple hours to drive from one corner corner of the map to the other. It was absolutely huge. And what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is show you guys how big this map is just from like just from the idea of where we are now versus like where we can go. This zone that we're in right now, this is just one zone, okay? This is just one zone. There are so many other zones, like this is Offshore Shack, but you also have Dry Rigs, you have Rainier Peak, you have Tsunami Reef, and the thing is, back when I played this game originally when it first came out, I never even accessed all of the zones. Now, we're starting off here with a blank slate, basically a almost completely new save, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of exploring, we're maybe going to do a little bit of competition, a little bit of racing, and I'm going to encourage you guys to, if you have the option to play this game, try it out. If you really like that nostalgia, but also really like to see what sort of started that open world off-road game idea, at least as far as what we know today. Now, granted, there were other open world off-road games before this, but I think in a very, very big way, this game pushed that idea forward a lot more than other games did at the time. So let's go ahead and start driving our buggy and we'll see what we can kind of get into. We'll see what kind of trouble we can find and we'll try not to flip over, but you know, it is uh, it is me. So we may find a way to flip over at some point during this, uh, during this event. Now, I am still kind of re-familiarizing myself with how everything works. So with that being said, if I, if I miss something, that's probably why, but it has been a long time since I played this game, and it really does just kind of throw you in with no warning at all, and it's like, here you go, figure it out, no tutorial, just go. So, let's go ahead and run this race and see what we can do. Let's see, how confident are you? Rookie, expert, or legend? Uh, let's try expert. I don't think I'm ready for legend yet. Let's try expert and just see. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh, well... My dude is pretty much like your beginning starting character. So, but I do have to say, really cool that you could customize your character in an off-road game. I mean, again, this was something that we had years and years ago. So, let's see. Vehicle. Ah, all we've got is the mosquito. Well, yeah, let's see. Are you sure you want to trade some fuel for this vehicle? No refunds whatsoever. Okay. All right. Have my fuel. Let's go. Oh, boy. Okay, livery and paintwork. You could do that right here, but I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. I really want to get into the race and actually see what this is like. Now, keep in mind, this is a very early vehicle, right? Very early on vehicle in the game. Uh, very slow, most likely. And I'm hoping that that doesn't cause me to eat my words in terms of how I said that mid-difficulty would be fine. Now, the way they drop you into races, though, is so freaking cool because they literally drop you in on a dang helicopter. The way everything worked in this game was just so, so sick. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I forgot how crazy, like, the storm effects were. And go! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See how many people I can... Oh, God. Oh, the handling. Holy crap. I need to get used to the handling again. This handling is not something I'm used to at all. And it definitely has that sort of old school kind of feel. And it's not necessarily as quick feeling as a lot of the games you might play today. It's got a very weighted feeling to it. All right, we're up into fourth place now. How many laps do we have? Three? Take the inside on these guys. What's up, dude? Well, mid-difficulty suddenly isn't feeling so bad. These brakes are really effective, though. I just barely touched the brakes there, and it hauled down my speed real quick. Up and over the jump. Let's see what we can do. Sup, guy? Oh, boy. Oh, man. I lost that speed, though. I had some really good speed going, and I just kind of gave it all up. Oh, there we go. Man, tapping the brakes early? Oh, man. I messed that up bad, though. I was like, oh, I'll just touch the brakes early and then just kind of, like, drift my way through the corner. 
and it only kind of worked. You can actually use that jump to set you up to take the inside like we did right there. Got the inside on that guy. And there is an alternate route right there, but I'm not sure about taking it. It seems like it might set me up a little poorly for this checkpoint here. Now, the only thing is... Oh, boy. Now, that gauge just to the bottom left of my speedometer, is that, like, a temperature gauge or is that a boost meter? Because if I'm building up boost, then that's great. But if that's, like, a temperature gauge and I'm about to overheat, that's not great. And... There's a little, there's a little things like that here and there that I don't remember what they mean. And so coming back into this game, I'm like, huh, I wonder what that means. I hope it's not bad. Yo, I love that though. They do do kind of like little auto tricks in this game. Oh no. Tried to plan to take the inside there. Took it too early. Find my way through. Oh my God. All right. Power it around. Let's go down through that inside. I gotta admit, though, when you're playing through this game, like, for being as old as it is, the flow of it is super, super nice. Like, the flow of it really makes you want to keep playing the game. You know what? I'm gonna take the alternate, because why not? Just because. And, okay, yeah, that isn't really a shortcut, because it sets you up quite poorly for that checkpoint, but, I mean, you can still use it if you really wanted to. Now, I think in the future races, I'm probably gonna run max difficulty, because I did not think we were gonna be this far ahead in like medium difficulty already oh no oh no met the logs at the wrong time also notice the detail on the vehicle notice how it gets dirty throughout the race once again need i remind you that this game is quite old i don't remember off the top of my head how old it actually is but like this game man it had so many features especially like you know related to off-road games that you you don't see in all the off-road games today and the fact that this game had them all way back when, so cool. And across the line. Not bad, dude. That was actually really, really good. I am so down for that. Let's see. Still racing, still racing, still racing, still racing. Oh my god. Wow, we were like way, way, way ahead. We need to be racing on Legend down. Let's see. New vehicles unlocked. These more powerful vehicles are available for sale. Check your garage. But it doesn't show me anything. Uh, let's see. You have a new camp. Tsunami Reef. Dude, that's legit. We should definitely head out there. Uh, new piece of gear awarded, coarse fabric pants. That doesn't sound exactly like the most enticing thing to wear, but okay. Congratulations, Vista Points, Doppler truck spotted, check your map. What's next? Uh, let's see, go to free ride. Will it return me to the buggy that I had before, or will it, like, will it return me on the quad that I was on in that race? That is another detail that I don't remember. Like, ha I'm having to re-familiarize myself with all the details in this game as I go. Holy smokes. Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh my god, it is so dark. Okay, uh, let's, let's change camps. Because, okay, now I have the Tsunami Reef camp now, and apparently there's new vehicles now as well. So let's see, vehicle, uh, let's see, Avenger, Twin Free- Whoa! Dude, that's nuts! What about this, the Enforcer? Bro, we're actually getting some, like, muscle cars and motorcycle- Oh my god! What is that? I need it. I need that. I need that as a SnowRunner mod. Holy smoke. What? Dude, I've only leveled up like a little bit and I've already got access to monster trucks. Bruh, this is like so cr What is that? What in the heck is that? Holy crap. That's a freaking like rock bouncer buggy type thing. That is a quad with a giant wing. I'm all about that. I, I, it, it's brilliant. Um, that's a extended quad, but like extended in the wrong direction <laughs> i don't understand why but let's see so we have like 2945 fuel right now which is effectively you know dollars in game but let's see if we can go to let's see change camp tsunami reef yes i'm sure i want to make the trip there now the ability to change camps in this game really helps because the map is like i said before extremely huge and Oh my god. Yo, you get a little cinematic for, like, your new area as well. That's so sick. I remember that ruin as well. I remember that, like, that shipwreck and everything. Oh, that's so cool. That's so nostalgic, man. So nostalgic. Okay, so career. Ocean Rush, Sunstrike, the Asphalt Medusa. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tankfully yours. Let's see. Where is that? Circuit race, vehicle type, quad. Uh, let's see. Bike, truck, muscle car, SUV. Where is this? I guess we could just do it on... We'll do it on Expert because this is a slightly, like, trickier event. Let's try it. Livery, 
Oh yeah, I like the red. I dig the red. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. And I also love how you can select the races from the menu so you don't necessarily have to fast travel, or sorry, you don't have to drive to the race if you don't want to. Like, if, or if you don't know where it is. Like, if you straight up just don't know where the race is, you can just start it from the menu and you're good to go. Dropping in. VIP race treatment there, I'll tell you that. Absolute VIP race treatment. Come on. Love how he literally just flies off. He's like, yeah, no, we're good. Bye. I'll see ya. Let's go. We'll see how we do in this race versus the last race. Because it should be a little bit more difficult. But if we employ the same tactics as last time, we should be fine. Yo, come on. The visual style, too. The visual style was definitely a very, like, it's almost Borderlands-ish. You know what I mean? Yo, we're already in first place. Okay, we should have gone for max difficulty. Uh, this was not the plan, but that's all right. Ow. Yeah, that was definitely not the plan. All right, Davey. Stay back there, bud. What? Whoa, okay. That's like a little bit of a, like a, I almost call it a berm, but it's not a berm because it's metal. It, whoa. Okay, I'm sure glad that, like, there really isn't that much of a, of a like, rollover physics system in this game because I would have just caused myself one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's so slow. I can't wait to have a faster quad. Come on. It's so freaking slow, dude. Oh my God, it's so slow. But the game, at the same time, like this game, being, being as old as it is, I think personally for me, even aside from the nostalgia factor, like even without the nostalgia, I would want to keep playing this game. This game was so good about really pulling you in as a player. And, okay, yeah, you definitely, ow, you definitely want to use that little, like, um, that little kick plate on the inside, though, because that will give you so much of an advantage going into that corner. I really should have done expert. Like, oh my god, I'm kicking myself right now for not doing expert, or, well, expert is middle. Whatever the top difficulty is, don't worry about it. We're almost there, and then we have one more lap to do, and all I really want is that monster truck. That's seriously, like, my entire, like, ultimate goal right now is to get that monster truck. And, or at least, well, either the monster truck or the monster semi. One or the other. I just want one of them. Oh, taking that inside. I almost, I almost majorly oofed it. All right, here we go. Inside jump. Or sorry, actually, outside jump. Up the inside. Use that to propel you. Oh, oh, well, hey, I mean, the shipping crate caught me. So, uh, just another don't worry about it moment. Don't worry about it. Moments with Top Cat. Let's get it. Ooh! I love the auto tricks. They're so good. Oh no! I reset! I was trying to find the boost. I was literally trying to find the boost button and I reset myself. The crazy part about that is I am so far ahead right now, or I was so far ahead that I was able to reset, re like start driving again and like still win. God. Okay. And we're good. So we got 2,700 fuel out of that. Classic fuel long sleeve t-shirt. Let's see. Doppler truck spotted. Check your map. What's next? Return to Tsunami Reef Camp. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll hop back to the camp. Now, how much fuel do I have? Because I'm about to blow all of it on a new truck. Like, I am literally about to blow all of it on a new truck, I think. Oh, 5,600? Bet. Freaking bet, dude. Okay, Bone Crusher or, let's see, Lucha Libre. So that's, that's an actual monster truck. And that is more of like a monster semi with like, I don't know, monster truck suspension and axles. Now, this guy has like max off-road stats, but this guy is a lot more balanced. And this guy is faster. So I'm thinking that that's going to be the best way to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, I am so excited now. I am so happy to have this thing. <laughs> Dude, with the red, it looks so... Whoa, what? Holy crap. All these different... Yo, that looks so good. That looks so good. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the livery. I'm going to make those stripes white. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 
Dude, this is like the best thing ever. Uh, the fact that we were able to jump back into this game and... Oh, I forgot that as, as well. You can make your own races too. That's so cool. That's so cool. This game had so many features that people absolutely just beg for in games today. But this game had them all these years ago. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> what? What? It's a little slow to get going, but I'll tell you what, once it does, <laughs> once it does, like, it's, it's a beast. Look at that. Just, would you just look at it? Like, we had this so many years ago. This was literally our reality in this game, like, so many years ago. And having it here now is just the coolest freaking thing. And the fact that I unlocked it in this video just makes me even happier. Like, the fact that I unlocked it and we have it right here is... <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting so many, like, memories right now. The amount of nostalgia, dude. The amount of absolute freaking nostalgia is just off the charts. What is that green dot out there? I don't know. We might be able to find out what that green dot is if you guys would like me to make another video. Tell you what, let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see another video on fuel. And if you do, uh, we'll go and find out what that green dot on the map is. Oh, I guess it disappeared already. But I, it's in that general direction, so we'll figure it out one way or the other. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.